Hello friends, this is Rohit Gupta. In this video, I'm going to run a talent show, which is basically going to query the MySQL database table. In that MySQL database table, there's a lot of duplicate rows, and I'm going to run a distinct on the particular column, and based upon that, I'm going to create a multiple set of files into my local machine. Then, I'm going to archive that folder and send it to the personal email id so let's see first the database table so this is a mysql database table so i'm going to query this talent unique fine so as we see we have number of duplicate records on um, on that ID column. So basically what I'm going to do it to first I will make a distinct on this particular ID column and I will going to create a multiple file set like uh, for this ID I'm going to create a file which will consist these fields into one CSV file again the same will be for the different id so there will be some other um, csv file will get create and and these all the fields will be into that file so based upon that i will create some six records uh, i mean uh, six file and it will be stored on the my local machine and i will then archive and send it to my email id so this is all the components which I have created to save the time let's look into the configuration of these components so first one is the MySQL input okay so this is a property type I have created a repository which I have created earlier so it's going to press the metadata of this MySQL and then schema only ID column on which I'm going to use a distinct as you can see the query over here. Second company is T flow to iterate to which basically perform the iteration. Then another component is T MySQL row. So again the property type will be the repository and it will fetch the record from the metadata from here. And so here is the interesting point is the query so I have used a query select ID name address age from talent unique where ID is equal to so the predicates which I am using is the ID column and there's the values I put is the question mark okay why the question mark because uh, it will going to automatically pick the value from over here okay so I have used parameter index one type is integer and the value is row one dot id which I am going to get from over here okay and if I click on edit the schema then I have created one column which name is unique records and its type is object so if we click on advanced setting then we see I have click on prepared statement and if we see the column then it's automatically selected the unique records which I have created over here okay let's see the next component pass record set in pass record set I'm going to use these columns ID name address age and we see like unique record automatically selected previous component column list okay and let's click on edit schema then there will be one columns over here which is object and these all the columns which we required t flow to iterate again to perform the iteration and then next component is t fixed flow input so the file set which is going to create i want only these three columns okay so 
and value is row two dot name or this row two is basically this one and whatever the output is getting from over here three pass record set it will go into root from here over here row two dot name row two dot address and these are all the columns which I basically needed finally the T file output deleted which will basically store uh, the multiple file set into this location in .csv format I have checked on the append because it will keep append based upon the distinct ID column these are the three columns and T file archive so if this sub job is okay then the flow should work the next level where T file archive is there so directory where I just want to look out these are, this is the input file for the archive I'm going to archive these and this is the destination location I'm going to zip those input files multiple set of input files into this location into the archive and record start zip so there will be only one zip file which will consider on all the multiple set of values so let me click on create active does not exist and everything normal and the component is send mail so this is the and the uh, job sub job which I've created to send the mail across the um, specified email IDs T file input parameters input properties where this is the email dot properties which is just like a context file let me open it so in this I use from which location from which email the email should go and to whom host of the Gmail SMTP server port username password user data and this and this is the it will going to set the global variable so this is I have insert the keys like um, row 1 key and value and then finally send mail so this is going to uh, get it from the email properties okay let's uh, run this job okay, this is an initial file which is created earlier look into the file so first column is name address and age based upon that we got the output the same is here as well let me check the archive directory which is created and there were records if you click on it and these are all the files 
and the email has been sent let me check that email as well so I got the email from this let me open it if I open this record of zip then I can see we have set of multiple files okay so this is how um, this job works so what we have learned so far is uh, we have created job which is going to fetch uh, the record from the uh, from the MySQL table and based upon these IDs based upon these IDs is going to create the multiple set of files and if we look out the file name it's based upon the IDs ID column these are the ID ID 1 2 3 4 5 6 which is over here this is all about this job thank you so much for watching this video